Hi, my name is Jay McAvoy and I am 21 years of age. Let's start this off with my educational history. I went to Hepburn Primary School and I graduated from there in 2013. I then completed my VCE and graduated from Dalesford College in 2019. I then went on to begin a forensic science degree and quickly found out it was not for me. This then led me to teaching in which I began my studies by completing a diploma in teacher education preparation at RMIT University. And finally, that's led me to ACU to begin my Bachelor of Primary and Secondary Education. Now, what gives me a passion for teaching? There are a lot of reasons that give me a passion for teaching, but to narrow it down to one standout one would have to be getting to work with young people and contributing to who they grow into as adults. The idea of this brings me so much joy and really gives me a sense of purpose within myself. Another big reason would definitely be to not only inspire but to be inspired by young people every day that I spend with them. I enrolled into the Bachelor of Primary and Secondary Education because I want to have my options open to teach all year levels and treat it as an opportunity to discover what year level or what year levels I may perform the best in teaching, which therefore not only benefits me, but more importantly, the students, as I'm able to provide the best education as possible for them all. When I look into the future and envision myself in the role and what teacher I want to become, my brain focuses on firstly being a positive role model. I want to be a teacher that students want to learn for and want to reflect the positive behaviours and values that I project and encourage to perform. An experience that first comes to mind in a way in which almost felt like a premonition now that I look back on it, is volunteering to attend my old high school's year seven camp as a helper for a few days as they were in need of an extra adult there. I thought, why not? Something to do, something to experience, something to potentially spark a passion into a possible career. What I immediately found being on the camp was I seemed to be someone in which the students looked up to and could relate to. I showcased an interest in what they were interested in and always made sure they were listened to and encouraged to try their best in everything they do. I even remember thinking, wow, these teachers on this camp, this is their career. They get to do this as a part of their job. Now that is very intriguing. In realisation of this, it allowed me to reflect on my educational history and what may have been indicators that teaching may be my calling. What came to mind was being school captain of my primary school and house captain of my secondary school. Both roles were roles in which I was elected by my peers and my teachers and I believe represented me as a leader and someone that others found engaging, which is two key components to becoming a great teacher and educator as a whole. I believe the first step in understanding what teacher I'd like to become is understanding what education is. Focusing on this, I went on to think, well, education is subjective. What might seem educational to one person may not seem educational to another. Therefore, I need to be conscious of this in the classroom and provide a teaching style that accommodates a variety of cultural backgrounds, beliefs, and learning styles, but remains aligned with the curriculum. Now, what would be my definition of education? The first thing that came to mind was the academic components like educating children about times tables and how to read and write. Don't get me wrong, they are critical components to education, but not all that education is. There are multiple dimensions of education. And what are they? As mentioned in the book, Multidimensional Education, published by Corwin, schools aren't one dimensional. Your decision making shouldn't be either. The book provides a fresh and compelling argument to look far beyond test scores performance when measuring success in our schools. That is quoted by Kurt Sir, principal of Newport Heights Elementary School. So what does that actually mean? The focus point is to identify that not all students display their learning best in a test format. And it's something that I can resonate with as I do believe your ATAR score, for example, should not be determined by a one to two hour exam at the end of the year. With further research into the multiple dimensions of education, I found it demonstrates that education is not just about ac academics, but educating about social and emotional components of positive behaviours that future generations can use to give back to society and the community in which they live in. This therefore contributes to the formation of each student's sense of identity and belonging, which is just as important as the academic side of education. Whilst going through the readings, there are a couple things that stood out to me and undoubtedly grew my motivation for teaching. In Nodding's Happiness and Education, it is suggested that the ultimate aim of education is happiness. Although she leaves the notion of happiness undefined in this section of the book, it still forced me to realise the importance of happiness for the children I am educating and how I can ensure this is provided to all. 
Another statement by the Congregation of Catholic Education suggests the teacher does not write on inanimate material, but on the very spirits of human beings. This allowed me to focus on the idea to approach education as a vocation or calling, rather than something you do just to make a living, but something that you have a passion for and a spiritual connection with, and can therefore allow the students to have this same response to learning. With all this in mind, I was able to come to the conclusion that what I believe about education is what is driving me to become a teacher. That is, assisting students in the vital stages of their lives with their learning and assisting them in reaching their full potential. Thus, leading to the greater picture of helping improve society by playing a part in shaping future generations. Thank you for listening.